Hi, I'm Mrs. Laberman at Garden City Elementary. I teach sixth grade, and today's lesson is Moon Phases with Rick Crosland. Hey, thanks for that great introduction. So this video is about how to show you to better understand moon phases. Now, the one thing, there's a couple of things we need to think about about the moon. First of all, the moon you see up at night is the same moon that everybody has seen for millions of years. Our moon revolves around the earth. So we have the earth here and we have the moon that goes around it. Now, when it goes around it, it's not a perfect circle, it's more of an ellipse. So the moon, every, almost every 28 and a half days or so, goes around the Earth. And since it's going around the Earth, the, cha the, the phases change. What I mean by that is, we have a sun over here, and by the way, this is not the scale, because the sun is much, much bigger, but we do have a pretty good sized moon. So as the moon moves around the Earth, the sun from it, we see the moon in different phases. And the reason we see the moon in different phases is because the moon reflects light. The sun is a source of light. The moon, like my shirt, light is bouncing off of it. When you look up at the moon, you're seeing reflected light. You're seeing light that goes from the sun all the way to the moon, 92 million miles or more, bounces off the moon and comes back to your eye, 237,000 miles. The moon is a fascinating thing. It revolves, it actually rotates really, really slow, so we always see the same face of the moon. In fact, it wasn't until we sent a rocket and astronauts to the backside where we had our first photos of the dark side of the moon. So let's take a closer look. So let me show you a, a way that helps me understand why the phases change. Let's take a look at this. You guys probably know this game called baseball, right? You've heard of baseball? Yeah. So we're gonna start with the sun right here. Here's our sun sending light out. So if, if the moon phases, that helps me understand, let's put this right here as home base. There's home base, right? Da -da 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 -da. What base is this? That's first, yeah. <laughs> and then over here is second, second base, second right? Phases. And over here and is third, third base, right? Base. So you can see all these, and then back to home. So this it is the- It makes a diamond. It makes a diamond. And this is the pitcher's mound, okay? But let's call this Earth. We got that? There's Earth right there. So all this light from the sun, if you're standing on the pitcher's mound and you're looking this way, you're gonna have light coming at you, right? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of blinding if you look this way. So when the moon comes around, let's say the moon is right here, and the moon comes around at home plate, there's the moon. When you look at the moon, you're not gonna see it. It's going to be completely blocked out. You're gonna see a new moon, or another word for it is nude, because you don't see it, you see right through it. Now, you turn around and look this way, when the moon's over here, 14 days later, you're gonna see a full moon. The moon is gonna be completely full because the light's coming this way and hitting it, okay? So we call that a full moon, got it? Now, as the moon makes its trip around the bases, there's eight different cool phases around the bases, okay? And so it all has to do with like what you see. If you're standing here looking this way, the light's gonna shine up that much. Here it's gonna shine up even more. And you're gonna see that. And here it's gonna shine up, you know, just you're gonna see a little bit. Here you're gonna see, you're just gonna see a little bit. Here you're gonna see a whole bunch. And here you're gonna see even more. And so you see how, if you imagine yourself standing there, and looking as the moon goes around the earth, you will see different phases, and they all have names. Crescent, waxing, first waning. Quarter. Waxing gets yes. bigger, first quarter, third quarter. And these are all the different phases. So, I asked my friend Renee, can you show us, what did I just explain to you? Can you explain the to us? The rotations, us orbit, and revolution around the earth and the sun. Explain, what, what kind of phases do we see? We see a gibbous, we see a third, a fourth, and fifth, a third, a first, second, and home corner. And, and so as you go around, show me how that moon goes on around there. And you'll see the different phases. 
book on page 203 or anywhere you can find the lunar cycle. It's called the lunar cycle because the science name for the moon is Luna. Maybe you heard of that. Maybe you heard of the Luna moth. Maybe you heard of Luna. Maybe if you stare at a full moon, you'll become a lunatic. No, not really. That's just a myth. <laughs> But anyway, you see this here. You can see the sunlight, just like we did, coming from this way. You're on the Earth, and you see the different phases. Now, here's what we're going to do. We are going to make a model of the moon's phases. And we're going to start by taking a clear solo cup and putting it right here. There's a lot of ways you can do this. But what I want to do is I want to mark all eight of those phases with a little mark right here on my cup. And you see how I'm doing that? I'm getting all eight of them in there. Got that? And when you turn it over, it's now we got these evenly spaced, eight of them, okay? So to do this project, you're gonna need a clear cup, a chart, a dark cup to represent no light, and you're gonna get one little sticker. And this is gonna represent the light of a full moon or the light reflecting off the sun. I think it will be the sun. Like the sun. So I'm going to look at my cup here. I'm going to come down one, two, three, four lines. And this is going to be my sun. Got that? See it? Mm -hmm. Now the cool part about this is when we put this in here, now we're going to be able to rotate this around for the different phases. But we need to have the different phases. So let me show you what I've done. So what I've done is I made a bunch of labels, different labels that you guys can use. Uh, you could write these on here, but I, I found that it's better if I make some labels. Now, let's, I'll need your help. Using the book right there, let's start with this one right here, which is a new moon, right? Right, a new moon. So I'm going to take this piece right here, and I'm going to put it like right there. So it says new moon. Now, what's the opposite of a new moon? Look on the chart. If you go around the chart, a full moon. So I'm going to go all the way over. And the opposite of that will be a full moon, right? I want you to have these ready for me. Next, you, would you get those ready for me? So there's the opposite of that. If I turn it over, it's going to be right here. So here, new moon, opposite full. After new, help me out, what comes next? Waxing, waxing, waxing crescent. crescent. Have me a waxing crescent. Thank you. Now, you could write these on there, but I think uh, we went to the trouble of making these. Waxing crescent. What comes after waxing crescent? First, first quarter. quarter. First quarter. We're at first base, guys. After first quarter? Waxing gibbous. Gibbous means to add on. Waxing means bigger. So waxing means when things get bigger, like the, the light from the moon. Nice. Now we have full moon. Now we're full. So after you're full, we're going to start waning. waning, which means waning getting gibbous. smaller. Waning gibbous. Waning. After waning gibbous? Third quarter. Third quarter. Third. There we go. Third quarter. And finally, crescent. Waning, crescent. waning crescent. Now, that is so cool that you guys did that. So we have, let's take a look at them. Starting, we go rotate them around like that. Let's put the moon in. So every time we get by one of these, we rotate it around. Now all we need to do is figure out how to do that. And I'll show you what I'm going to do for that. The other thing you need are four of these black dots that are the same size as the yellow dot. Now, I say four of these because... Each one of these are going to stand for two different phases. Now, this part's so cool. Let's take one of these, right? Now, if I rotate this around to a full moon, it looks like that, right? There's a full moon. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. My friends describe this as very satisfying because I'm going to rotate this around now to a new moon. What do we see on a new moon? Nothing. Uh, nothing. nothing. So I'm going to take this and put it right over the top of this one. Now look at this, as it rotates in, watch this, ready? Cool, cool. you're supposed to say cool. Ready? Cool. cool. <laughs> That's what I think, I think it's cool. So now we have two of them, we have a full moon and we have a new moon now that's kind of easy but the next one these get harder as we go i'm going to cut one of these in half to make quarters i know it sounds weird help me out let's see uh let's see right here on the on the on the book we're looking here at quarters right so uh i'm going to use one of these to block out so do i put it on the right or the left I do? Look on the picture. I'm left, using left, left. 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 So, and what is that? First quarter? Yes. yes. Let, me, let me rotate this around to first quarter and put it on the left. 
Wanna hold it? Yeah, hold it for me, man. Hold me on here. So you put it right there. Is that good? What do you think? And look, look, comes into a first quarter. That's pretty good. Now, what's the opposite of a first quarter? Because we still have that other half left. What's the opposite of a first quarter? Um, second third quarter. quarter. Third, third, third oh. quarter. <laughs> third quarter, right? So let's use the other half. Let's go find the third quarter. Ding, 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 ding. There it is, right about there. Now look on the book. Do I put this on the right like that one? No, no. I put it on the other side. I mean, that one I put... On the left, this one I have to put on the right. Let's see if I do that right. This is kind of hard, but you guys will have time to do this. How to go? Did I make? Did I make it? Yeah. Third mm -hmm. quarter, right? Mm -hmm. I will say that's the easy ones. Here are the two hard ones. We're going to take this guy right here. And instead of cutting it straight, we're going to cut it like a crescent. See the crescent? Like I'm going like that and rotate around. Mm -hmm. Now, this represents blocking out the light. So we got to find one. This is a crescent, but we're going to use it to make a gibbous. If you don't believe me, take a look right here. This is a crescent. We're going to use it to make a gibbous. So see oh. how it fits right there? Yeah. yeah. And so by doing that, that helps me. So I'm going to, I need to put this one on the right on the waning gibbous. Got it? Find the waning gibbous. Ding, 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 ding. Waning, waning, waning. What? Waning gibbous. There it is. And do I put it on the right or the left? Right. And so it's going to look like that. See that? Mm -hmm. All right, so one, two, three, and satisfying. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> Waning gibbous. Now, I use the the small one to make a gibbous, so I'm going to use the big one to make a crescent. crescent. And, or a croissant. croissant. A croissant or croissant. croissant? A croissant we can eat. A crescent we can look at. <laughs> so I'm going to put it like this. As a waning, see how that'll block it out? Mm -hmm. So I, what is that one? The waning it. crescent. So let's find the waning crescent. Oh, right there. Move this guy around. Hold the cup. And let's put this in here like this. And boom. Waning crescent. Cool. So we have two more. And guess what? So you have four of these. Now, I can cut it this way to make a crescent. Cool. What? But we're going to use a crescent to make a gibbous, right? So what's left? Waxing. Waxing, Waxing. Waxing gibbous. And what side should I find it on? Right. What side should I put this on to make a waxing gibbous? Left. left. Show me. Okay, I'm going to use the I'm going to put it on the left side so I can turn it around. You that's it. Thanks for holding that. Ding 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 ding. ding. And here we go. Boom, look at that. Waxing gibbous. Gibbous means adding to. So we got one left. We got, we're going to use a big one to make a small one. So what's left? Uh, it's a uh, crescent of some sort. Waxing. Waxing crescent. waxing crescent. And what side should I put it on? Waxing crescent. Look and find. The left. The left. So it actually makes... You know, I always remember crescent has a C in it, but a waxing crescent is backwards. Cool. Look at that. So now we can start with a new moon, right? Waxing what? crescent. What's next? Waxing. First quarter. Waxing. Gibbous. gibbous. Full. 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 Now it's going to get start getting small. Crescent. Waning gibbous. Third, Third quarter. Waning. Crescent. New moon. And there is your lunar cycle. Don't go crazy making it. Then you know, but. But have some fun doing it. models all the time to understand things about the earth that are hard to see and hard to understand. So